Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another one branded tutorial and today we are going to be doing a full face of Rimmel London products. So this is the look that I created and this is actually a recreation of the look that I created whilst I did the Rimmel road trip with Rimmel London. So what the Rimmel road trip actually is, is where 12 of your favourite influencers travel around the UK to show you guys some amazing makeup and style inspiration. It's so much fun and I'm so happy that I got to be one of them and I'm living the London look. I'm, it's just so cool. The actual Rimmel road trip with myself and Roxy is actually up on their YouTube channel so I'm going to link it down below. So if you do want to go and watch that, you can go and watch it down below. We had so much fun. We actually did a road trip down London which is of course my home city. I also recreate the look that I was wearing in that video for today. So this is an evening look. I went for something that's quite vivid on the eyes. So at the bottom I've got this pop of blue but it's actually really really wearable. It's not like too OTT and then of course I've kept the top of my eye quite Layla the way that I've left it. Everything is going to be listed down below and there'll also be a link where you can shop my whole look as well so you know exactly where to buy the products that I used in this video. So mine and Roxy's Rimmel Road Trip to London is actually the sixth episode of six so we were the last ones and we ended in London like I am so so happy to be doing this and yeah it's the best I had the best time so be sure to check out if you haven't already it's an amazing video and we had so much fun filming it so be sure to check it out down below. So without any further ado, let's get on into this video and I'll show you how to achieve this look using only Rimmel products. Okay guys, so to get started, I'm gonna be using the Insta Fix and Go Primer and Setting Spray to first of all just prep my skin. This is such a hydrating spray, I love it. It has cucumber water in it and I just think it is one of the most, just the best things for this time of year because it is so hot and it was so hot the day I filmed this. So I applied that all over and then I'm also taking the Insta Flawless and applying that as my primer. You can actually use this as a BB cream on its own but I'm just using it underneath giving me a little bit of a glow and some hydration. And these are from the new Insta range and I absolutely love this range. I use so many of their products in this video because just the new Insta range is amazing. So also from that range I'm taking the Insta Conceal and Correct and I'm taking some of the green colour corrector and I'm using that to conceal some of my red acne scars and this works so well. It's a really nice smooth formula without it being too thick and that's what I like in a colour corrector because obviously we are going to be applying quite a few layers of makeup on top of this. We just want the colour solely and that's exactly what it does and I just love it. I'm using a buffing brush just to kind of push this into the skin because I don't want to move it about too much. I sort of sometimes brush it but generally I like to push it into the skin. That way I keep all of the pigmentation and it doesn't move around too much. Next for my foundation I'm taking the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation and I'm using this in the colour 402 bronze. I actually have a tan right now and it just matches me perfectly. I love it so much and I love this because it just has such a nice coverage. It's really actually quite a full coverage but it looks really hydrated and it actually doesn't look like you're wearing that much which is personally my favourite type of formula in foundations when I can get away with wearing a decent layer but it doesn't look really dry and cakey and this definitely doesn't do that whatsoever and it really does have a nice invisible coverage and I think that's really important for foundation especially a full coverage one so I really love that and I'm also taking the Match Perfection Concealer and I'm using this to highlight my under eyes using this in the shade 10 Ivory and it's very light for my skin tone but it's such a good yellow tone for my under eyes. It's perfect for that really nice brightening effect. And as you can see I kind of just apply it in an upside down triangle shape and this just really lifts the eyes and I just personally love the way that that looks. It's kind of like an instant facelift which I love and I'm just using a brush and my fingers to make sure that's nice and blended in and also ensuring that I get some of that onto my eyelids as well because it is going to act as our primer for our eyeshadow as well. To set my skin, I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder and this is also a part of the Insta range and I'm just going to be using a brush to apply this all over my skin. I love this powder, it's one of them really nice finely milled powders, doesn't make your face look dry in the slightest and really makes everything look nice and smooth. So I'm just making sure to set everywhere really, just because 
generally it's so hot in England at the moment so you really kind of have to set everywhere so this powder is perfect for that but also if you have dry skin or oily skin this powder will definitely work for you there's no flashbacks so it looks perfect in pictures and it's just an all-round really good translucent powder I'm about to start my eyeshadow but before I do I'm taking some of the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel and just using this to flick my brows into place and whilst that dries I'm going to go on with my eyeshadow and I'm taking the Magnifies palette. I'm using this in the shade Keep Calm and Wear Gold and I'm just getting started off first of all with this light matte brown and this is going to be our first transition shade. I'm building this up in the crease and creating a really nice extended eye just to really shape out the crease and I just love the way that an extended eye looks on my eye shape particularly. And then I'm taking this slightly darker, more plummy matte brown and I'm taking that into the crease as well. I'm just using this to slightly deepen the crease and just ensure that it's really well blended to the colour we applied previously. For my eyelid, I'm going to be taking the Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick Crayon and I'm applying this in the shade Bulletproof Beige. I love this. It really makes any eyeshadow you apply on top of it pop. So I'm applying the gold from the Magnifies palette and just patting that on top of the pencil. And I just find that it stands out so much more and I just really, really love the combination of these two products together. Next, just taking the darkest colour from the palette and just using this to smoke out the outer corners slightly. I'm just using that on a blending brush and just applying it solely on the outer V area just to give it a little bit of that smoky effect. And we are going to be applying winged eyeliner so I just find that a little bit of a darker crease complements it really nicely. I'm taking this Scandalize Pen Eyeliner and I love this. It makes it so easy to create a wing. So I'm just going ahead and drawing a line on the top lid and then creating my wing afterwards and I just like to create the shape of the wing and then connect these two lines together. I just find that it's one of the easiest ways to create a wing. So as you can see I'm kind of just like building the wing and then connecting the two together. For my waterline, I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Magnified Double Ended Eyeshadow and Eyeliner Stick and obviously it's in the shade of black. I'm taking the eyeliner side and just using this to draw on my waterline to add that smokiness. And then I'm taking another Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick and this time it's in the shade Blamed Blue. And we are going to be using this to add that pop of colour on the bottom lash line. As you can see, it's such a wearable blue. I feel like when you wear colour this way, it makes it so easy to incorporate colour. So yeah, I just find that it makes it way more wearable. People aren't going to look at you and be like, you're wearing blue eyeshadow. It just makes it look really, really wearable and I love that. So I'm just smudging this out just to make it look a little bit more blended and I'm not really adding anything to it. I'm just literally taking that pencil and blending it out. And then I'm using a combination of two mascaras. I'm using the Wonderful Mascara first just to separate my lashes and add some volume. And then to really add volume, I'm taking the Volume Colorist, which is in extreme black, and I find this is really nice just to finish off your lashes. So I combine the two together, and it's just like a little bit of a concoction, and I love it. And that way, I feel like my lashes are good to go. And then I also applied the same mascara onto the bottom lashes as well. For my eyebrows, I'm taking the Brow This Way Fibre Pencil and I'm just going to be running this through my eyebrows to make them look fuller. And honestly, like my eyebrows, I'm quite happy with them, but when I wear eye makeup, I feel like I need to add a little bit of something. So this is perfect for me because it adds little fibres in between your natural brow hairs. And for someone like me that's got kind of naturally brow hair there, this works perfectly. For my contour and highlight, I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Insta Duo Contour Stick in the shade Medium. And I'm first of all just taking the contour side and using this to add some shadows to the edges of my forehead, underneath my cheekbones, and also onto my jawline as well. And this just creates a really nice subtle shadow and sculpts the face and just makes everything look more in proportion and... Oh, just so much more sculpted and I love that kind of look. I actually love the colour of this as well because it adds a little bit of bronziness to my skin too, which personally I like a warmer contour just because it goes better with my skin tone. And then I'm taking the highlight side and just applying this to the tops of my cheekbones and blending it in. And I just love the way that this looks. It's so quick and easy and 
Personally, I feel like this little contour stick is so good for when you're on the go because it's just got everything all in one in a little package. <laughs> and for my bronzer, I'm taking the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and just applying this on top of the contour just to, of course, make me look more bronzed but also set this contour into place. And then finally, for my lips, I'm taking one of my absolute go-tos and favourite lip liners in the entire world. And this is the Lasting Finish A Thousand Kisses Lip Pencil in the shade Cappuccino. I love this. I've loved this for years and I feel like it's just one of the best lip pencils to make your lips look fuller. It's just the best pencil to overline your lips with. So I'm doing just that and I am going to be applying a gloss with this just because I was feeling glossy. And I'm using the Oh My Gloss lip oil and this is just a gorgeous very subtle pink color and I absolutely love it so guys that is the finished look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching me create this look with all Rimmel products don't forget to check the Rimmel road trip that me and Roxy did with Rimmel on their YouTube channel I will be linking that down below as well as all the products that I used so that you guys can shop my look I love you all so much and I will see you all in the next one don't forget to subscribe and like on your way out and I'll talk to you later bye guys